Hey lug nuts and future lug nuts. This is my review of the new, newest, I guess, um, insulated lunch bag that Lug has released called the Chewy. So this is a print that if you haven't seen it anywhere, um, it's actually available or was available only in the summer Lug Life um, summer box, the mystery box that came out uh, July 2021. So I believe, that, I, I mean, I guess in the future, who knows, but as of now, uh, this is the only time that you'll be able to get that print is if you buy the box. So it won't be av available online or, or any other place. I think it was a box exclusive, uh, but it is the um, nautical navy. Uh, so anyway, so other, other colors obviously exist, but in case you're looking at this way in the future, the reason why you don't see it very often is because it was quite rare. Anyways, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the outside and I'll take you inside. I have packed it so you can actually see what's inside and what I've been able to put inside. Um, this video I basically just made to help you decide if this bag is appropriate for your needs in case you were debating which one to get. Because there is another bag that they just released called the Caboose, which is a fair bit bigger than that. Um, I will do a video on that one as well. Um, and I might even do a quick comparison between the two. Uh, but um, anyway, so this is the Chewy, like I said. So it is the smaller of the two uh, insulated bags. Uh, the front has, at the very bottom here, if you can sort of see, it's got the basket weave quilting, which is the classic uh, lug at the moment. Um, there is a front zipper at the top here. You can see that the, the zipper itself is tonal but the actual hardware on the pull is the gunmetal. So for those of you who are big fans of the gunmetal, it's not fully gunmetal, uh, but it actually looks pretty good. I actually quite like it better. So it is a tonal zipper. Uh, the pocket is quite big. It goes from one end of the bag all the way to the other and it goes right to the bottom. And the interior um, is not plastic lined. It is just the regular nylon that they've got, uh, but it is a pretty big pocket. Um, if you really pack the bag, it's not, huge so you can probably only put things like utensils and napkins uh, maybe a little ketchup packs or whatever it is so something very thin and small you wouldn't be able to put anything really bulky in there because it wouldn't fit but it is quite big uh, and the zipper as usual is really really good and smooth so that's the front uh, and I'm just gonna swing this to the back really quickly uh, it is a plain back. There is no other strap. There's no trolley strap or anything. It's just plain. There's no quilting on the back. So it is just the other side. Uh, I'm going to take you to the side of this because the side, if you can look, so like I said, I packed this completely, but that's kind of what it looks like when it's uh, packed. So it's, it's sort of, it pulls in. So there's the zipper. It pulls in and down and it kind of gathers at the side. So it's not really a smooth side. Um, and I'll show you why in a minute, but that's kind of what it looks like on the side. And there's the other side there. Um, so as you can maybe see, these have two little tote handles on the top. They are not rubberized. Uh, they're quite short. You would not be able to get that over your shoulder unless you were super, super, super skinny um, and had very small shoulders. Maybe a kid could, but an adult would have a lot of trouble, would just basically sit right in your armpit. So this really is just a handle more than anything else. It's a little bit stiffer. Um, it's sort of extra reinforced, I guess, sewing, um, but it is not, uh, it's not rubberized. Then it also comes with a long crossbody strap. There it is. I haven't uh, taken it out yet and it's adjustable as well. Yeah, and then there's actually a little, actually maybe I'll show this side, a S hook, and that's how it hooks onto tabs on the side. So there's one there, so it's just a little loop that you can loop it through, and then if you cross diagonally over to the other side, that's where it loops on the other side. So it crosses from one side to the other to give you balance when you're carrying it as a crossbody. So that is removable. I have just left it on there so I don't lose it and just to be able to show you what it has. Um, so anyways, let's take you on the inside. So the inside actually has a fair bit of space. So the inside is completely insulated. Um, I have packed this quite a fair bit. So there's the zipper and the coolest thing is how this opens. This lunch bag opens like a doctor's bag. So it opens really wide and you can pull up the sides 
and then you've got full access to a really strong and sturdy lunch bag. So I kind of think that you could actually even use this as a cooler. So you could dump a little bit of ice in this, leave it on your picnic table or on your patio, uh, fill it with ice and then throw a few drinks inside and you actually have a really beautiful small um, cooler basically. So people can just grab stuff as they go. You can leave it open. So that's what it looks like from the top. So it's really a square. Uh, and then if you come down to the side here, that's what it looks like. So it's quite structured. Um, and so like this is it wide open, like fully, fully opened. The actual opening itself around the zipper here, on around the, the base of it, there's a, there's a hard wire all the way around. So from this side all the way around and on the other side. So it's really, really good and strong and sturdy. Like I'm trying to bend it with my fingers and I, I really can't. It's really quite strong. So anyway, so that's how it opens. As you can see, it's completely insulated. There's also a little bit of organization in this particular bag. There's a little mesh pocket right in the back. It is attached. You cannot take it out. It's sewn right into the seam, but it's plastic. So it looks like mesh, but it's actually completely plastic. So you, it's not porous. Um, so it's not breathable per se, but there's no zipper. There's no clasp at the top. So I don't know. At first I wasn't sure why they put it there. I thought maybe it was like to put utensils and all that. It's a little bit narrow. I'm going to show you. This is a, a pop can. It's about the width of a pop can. So it's not really long enough to put utensils. Um, and so it occurred to me, and I don't know if this is why they did it, but I thought maybe it was to put your ice pack so that your ice pack stayed separate from your food. Um, and it also allowed it to maybe, you know, not get wet and drippy and sweaty all over the rest of your food. So anyways, that's what I think it is. It's completely plastic on the inside and the outside. So it's wipeable. So if you happen to have, um, yeah, like a sweaty ice pack or if it breaks, because sometimes these little plastic ones do break if, uh, if you put too much pressure on it. So then all the jelly stuff just stays contained. It doesn't get all over your food. So anyways, so that's just sort of sitting on the one side. The other side has no organization. It's just, it's just pocket so or rather it's just a, a like a, ca a cavern so this is what I've got in it so I have completely so I was able to close this quite easily I'm only using one hand here but there you go so that's how well it, how, how easily it closes you just have to zip it works better when you got two hands um, anyway so I've got two longer taller juice boxes this one is 200 mils milliliters each so that's 200 mils so 400 mils these are just regular 355 milliliter pop cans. I don't know what this is in ounces, I'm sorry. Someone's gonna have to Google that. Um, so four regular pop cans. I didn't have six. Uh, if I had six, I would have brought them. So I put, just, just for size awareness as well, just a regular small, well not small, an average size sandwich plastic container that you would put, you know, average size, like Wonder Bread size bread sandwich. So that's a plastic container that fits that and it easily fits on the side or if it fits straight at the bottom. So if you didn't have the cans in there, you could put that at the bottom. You could probably even stack two of these, so have two sandwiches. Um, you could have one with sandwiches and one with pasta, sal uh, pasta salad or snacks. But anyway, so you could easily put a six pack in there. No problem. Oh, and then of course I've got cookies. So, and that went in no problem. They didn't get crushed. They didn't get squished up against the cans when I closed the bag. So that's why I was able to get into this bag. It actually holds a fair bit. Um, it is, however, just a lunch bag. Uh, it's a one meal bag. So if you were just carrying a bunch of drinks in the car for the kids, or if you were carrying uh, a bunch of snacks like fruit and some cheese and some crackers, this is perfect for that. It's not very big. It's not gonna take up a whole lot of space. Um, oh, and it also, I forgot to mention, it also has a plastic wipeable bottom. No feet, but it does have a wipeable bottom. Uh, so that's great for putting down onto gross surfaces. So if you happen to be taking this out onto a lunch table that's already covered in gooey, sticky stuff, you can easily wipe that off. Um, so like I said, it's a one meal bag. Um, you might be able to get, like I said, two sandwiches or a sandwich and a pasta salad, but it's not really meant for more than one person. But the cool thing about this bag, which I thought was great, is it's, it's kind of squishy. So aside from the actual frame around the zipper, the whole bag is quite squishy. So if it wasn't full, so I'm just going to take a few things out here. So let's say I really just wanted to take a bare minimum. So I'm just going to take 
There, I'm going to take a sandwich, my little ice pack, two drinks, and some cookies. So when I close that in, if you look at the profile, it squishes down a fair bit. So I can actually squish this bag flatter than it was when it was really full. So if you wanted to, you could put this bag inside another larger bag. So if you have an Avion or if you have an Apollo or you're carrying a Via or something like that and you wanted to carry an extra lunch bag, this would fit in any of your other bags. It's not huge uh, that you could put into a big bag. Now it's not small. Uh, it's not one of those really thin uh, bags that you can only fit like a sandwich and a banana in. Um, so it wouldn't go into a thin bag, but it could go into a bag that has a bit of girth. Um, but that's it's that's kind of cool. I like that it's not overly structured, but just structured enough that when I open it, it's it stays open. And having had a few lunch bags in my life, I actually prefer this one way more than all the rest because I can actually stand my food flat. Um, I've had so many lunch bags that were really long and tall and narrow that if I had like if I and I usually eat pasta and it you know it's like spaghetti or something. If the package that it's in or the container it's in is maybe not perfectly leak proof, it'll always spill out onto the bottom. So it always have this oily, orangey, saucy mess at the bottom. Um, this allows me, because it's got such a wide bottom, and I'll show you again, it's a really big, it's got a big butt. So it's really big. Um, so it's, it, it offers a lot of stability when you hold it up, but it also will carry things that are quite big flat at the bottom. So if you're one of these people who carries a lot of stuff that way, likes to carry like, I don't know, like your lasagna or whatever it is, it'll fit beautifully down at the bottom and it'll be flat. It doesn't have to sit like this, like so many lunch bags do. Um, and also when I used to carry sandwiches, I have these sandwiches and by the time I got to them, the sandwich stuff would just sort of sink at the bottom and slide out. So it would have this sort of mangled sandwich at the bottom. So this allows me to keep it flat, which is great. Now. The great thing about it is it can like you can you can put lots of flat things at the bottom. Because it's so short though, the problem is you can't put tall things in this. So if you happen to have um, like a tall water bottle, uh, those longer ones, or if you happen to have a long coffee mug, uh, it won't fit in here when it's closed. It actually is quite short. So again, let's just take a look for size here. There's a pop bottle, the pop can, and that is how tall it is compared to the bag. So it's not a tall bag. If you happen to have a tall bottle, which I always carry, it will not fit. You will have to carry it separately, but this will contain your food. But if you're one of these people who wants to carry absolutely everything in one bag, this is probably not gonna be the bag for you because even if you lay it on its side, unless you have a short bottle. Now, I, I think most average water bottles will probably fit in there. I happen to have long ones because I like a lot of beverage. <laughs> so when I pack my thing with iced tea, it's huge and it's long and it didn't seem to fit. The only way it fit was diagonally, but then I wasn't able to get a whole lot else on top. Um, but anyway, so if you happen to have something really tall, this is not going to work as well if you have to carry a bunch of other stuff. But it does carry a, a, a lot of stuff as far as food and things if it's short and compact. Um, and that's even with the ice pack in here. That doesn't seem to affect anything. And this is, this is not huge. Um, again, it's about the size of the can there. And as far as the girth, that's... Um, so it's, it's actually pretty puffy. And it still seemed to fit without any problems. So that's the, um, that's the Chewy. So I'm hoping that that helps make you at least help you understand how this is going to work for you, if it works for you, um, and how easily things kind of fit and what kinds of things will fit in this particular bag. Um, yeah, I actually really like it and I, I'm probably going to buy another one if I actually get a, if I find a good price. I can't zip this up with one hand, but um, anyways, so yeah, I like it. I like the color. Of, I'm sorry, I like the design of it. I like the pattern on the front and it seems to work really well as a lunch bag. Um, I love that I can squish it in a bigger bag and it doesn't have a problem. And just for comparison, I do have the caboose. I'm just going to give you for size reference very quickly. So that is how much bigger the caboose is. They're about the same height, but the caboose is 
wider. So it's longer that way. <laughs> um, but the thing is, the chimney is actually a lot wider. Oops, that was my set. So yeah, so the Chewy is wider, it's got a bigger butt, and the Caboose is a little bit smaller. But anyways, so if you want something for one person, the Chewy, I think, is the way to go. So, like I said, I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, I am going to leave some fact sheets at the end of this video, so if you want to see the actual dimensions of the bag, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, screenshots of what's actually available on the website so you can read what Lug has put on their website. Um, I'm doing that because I know sometimes these videos get watched in the future when these bags are no longer available on the website. So if you're buying something off a third party uh, used site or if you're thinking of buying one in a store but you can't, you want more information, but they, they don't really have it, I'm hoping this video will provide you some information that uh, you might not be able to get. So I hope it helps. Like I said, there's screenshots at the end, um, and I hope this was helpful for you. So if it was, please hit like and maybe subscribe. I'd like to do more of these so that I can help all you lug nuts and future lug nuts um, get a better sense of which bag is best suited for you. Anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was helpful. Have a great one, and I'll see you later. Thanks.